The 100,000 Genomes project taught us a number of things about how to use whole genome sequencing in rare disease. One family that springs to mind is one I saw myself who had been seen for many years by a large number of specialties. The boy was 10 by the time he was recruited to have whole genome sequencing carried out and had had quite a large number of genetic tests and suggested genetic diagnoses. Through whole genome sequencing, a specific diagnosis was made of a very rare condition that affects the way the body can repair DNA. The difference for him is simply that he has a diagnosis now where the previous testing that he'd had had failed to identify one. That's meant more certainty to, for the family and also more certainty and really useful specific advice about how he should be followed up from a medical point of view. When considering the use of whole genome sequencing in cancer, if I could possibly draw upon an, an example of a patient that we were treating, unfortunately they presented with very advanced disease and had progressed through standard lines of therapy. And what the whole genome analysis provided us was an indication of a pan-genomic marker that may indicate potential eligibility for new um, immune therapy trials and then this patient was in fact recruited into, a, into a, a trial. The hope is that going forwards the more that we can capture with a single test and a single platform that that will then translate to benefit for patients. I've always been interested in TB as a disease. It's something that is completely curable um, and yet it seems to be a problem. TB can affect any part of the body uh, and depending on where it's affected um, the symptoms will vary. Once we have collected a specimen from the patient we send it to our laboratory and they try to um, culture a mycobacterial species then they forward that to Public Health England for whole genome sequencing. Whole genome sequencing tells us a number of things uh, about the organism. Um, firstly, it can tell us if the organism we're dealing with is in fact TB. It will tell us uh, what the sensitivities of the organism are and so which antibiotics work. And then it also gives us information about linked cases. The um, advantage of carrying out whole genome sequencing would be that we can uh, find out sooner if the person has uh, resistance to one or more of the antibiotics and that allows us to give the correct treatment much sooner.